Welcome to Honest Whispers Review. On this video, I'll be reviewing Super Friends, Wonder Woman maquette, released by DC Direct on August 6, 2003. This is the limited edition number, 1,840 out of 2,300. Designed by Alex Toth, sculpted by Jack Matthews and Karen Polinko. Approximately 8 and 3 quarter inches tall, with the base included. This is a cold cast porcelain and hand painted. I'm going to go over six different categories to review this. First category is design. Pretty much covers the look, the concept, and the pose. And starting with the pose, as you can see, she's in a very standard standing pose with her left leg half step forward, slightly bent at the knee. And even though it's a simple design, it is part of a series where you could display her with the other characters that was released in the Super Friends lineup. So even though it's a simple look, uh, definitely can't go wrong with it. Very nice uh, execution, especially far as the way she looks from the Super Friends cartoon. She... This is pretty much an example of 2D come to life in 3D format. So very w well done as far as that goes. It comes with the base attached so it doesn't come detached where you put it on, put the figure in the base. But it is quite sturdy. Very nice simple look with the Super Friends logo. nice and shiny so overall it looks very nice it kind of reminds you of like a trophy maybe like an oscar or something so i like the overall look and the concept even though it's pretty simple so that's why i give the design score a perfect 10 out of 10. next category sculpting pretty much covers the details the quality of the sculpt and the execution and even the quality of the molding and as you can see the hair very simplified you don't see much details just the way it was in the cartoon uh, well I can't really give you an example of the way she looked in the cartoon but if you are familiar with it just the way her hair do is that kind of reminds you of Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, just the way it's shaped out and everything. Uh, even though without those uh, details of like the hair. Uh, whether it be hairline or the actual thread. Uh, the simplified look actually works really well. So if they added like lines would have actually made it differently than it does from the cartoon show uh, now the face to me could have been a little bit better in some angles it looks like she kind of her face kind of caves in a bit so i would put a, i guess a point off the execution part but as far as the quality of the mode goes or even the sculpt overall it's very nice everything is pretty much smooth now the lasso I can't tell if that's part of the mode I'd, I'd figure they did attach this after like the lasso is molded separately and then attached and then it was glued right there at her leg Because I don't see how they could mold this with um, this piece. We're having such um, intricate looped spaces and things like that. Especially where her where the lasso attaches to the leg. So it's very clean overall. Now I could be wrong. That's just based on my assumption. Now an example of something like that where like her legs. You could see how they're attached at the inner upper thighs so to get that nice 
angle sharp angle like where it, the opening starts it would be really hard to get that here as well and for any flaws proportionately overall all the proportions are great everything from her chest size her hips waist uh, looks like you would what you would expect to see from the super friends cartoon but when you look at certain parts closely like the thumb initially i thought the thumb was tucked in like inside your finger or inside the fist but looking at it closer uh doesn't look like that's really the case i guess it could still be that way but it just looks like either she has her thumbs stuck tucked in or they just made it too short so the thumb if that was a fully extended thumb then would be uh proportionately a bit short everything else looks great legs even the butt the way it's shaped and the size of it it's not too big not too small now what i noticed though is that they did uh sculpt the stars where the stars should be but when you align the tip of the star to the tip of her belt you could see that it's slightly off I would have liked it perfectly symmetrical or aligned from tip to tip. So again, if you're looking at it from tip to tip, you can see that the top of the star, the middle star, is slightly to it, to her right or to our left rather than straight in the middle. So, And that's something you can only tell when you're really looking at it up close. Otherwise, it does look like everything is nicely aligned. So that's why I give the sculpting score it's still pretty high. 8 out of 10. Next category is colors. Pretty much covers the accuracy of the coloring, quality of the paint, and quality of the paint application. And as mentioned, it is all hand painted. I don't see any type of imprinting or anything like that other than the Super Friends logo. Uh, the eyes overall not bad. Simple blue circle with the smaller white circle. Now it looks slightly off where either her right eye is a little bit too big or you could even see how the eye lining of her right eye is thinner, the black is thinner, the black line is thinner than her left eye, which makes her right eye look slightly bigger. But as far as the alignment goes, it is pretty, uh, I do like the alignment. It's better than having her look cross-eyed. So when you look from a far, from a further distance, you really can't tell any flaws on that. And she's still looking straight. So I do like that overall. Now, when you look at it closely, you could see those slight errors here and there. Uh, maybe for instance, the red star, you could see some yellow bleeding into it. And even right here, her tiara, you could see some yellow kind of bleeding into, uh, I guess her upper forehead where her hair is. Uh, earrings are all painted overall from this distance looks nice costume is painted nicely and again all the colors are accurate she did have blue bracelets in the cartoon uh, but it's all matte finish so actually the the bracelets actually has uh, gloss finish to it so you could see how the light reflects off her bracelets but it's unfortunate they didn't do the gloss finish for like the gold or maybe her costume. So still, it looks nice as is. Uh, I just want to point out some squiggly lines here and there 
overall this part's done nicely but when you look at it much closer there are certain areas where it does kind of squiggle and you can see even right here the flesh color kind of slightly over that corner right there and again something you have to look really closely at because otherwise when you're at a pretty good distance really can't see those flaws and everything looks clean and even the stars here once you start looking at it really up close you could see some squiggly lines here and there or you could even see how right here the points are not as sharp or you could see even this point kind of curving a bit on the back as well you could see some I mean if you look at this star directly you could see there's some blue bleeding in there the star shape isn't really that uh, I guess accurate Especially when you look at right there as well, you can see the tip is a bit rounded out. But from afar, actually looks great. So th these are errors or flaws that you really have to look closely at to see them. The boots pretty much painted nicely. Very minor squiggly lines here and there. And in the show, she didn't have a white stripe going up and down. And as mentioned, the imprinting of the Super Friends logo, which really can't go wrong with imprinting. So, overall color looks great. I mean, she, she does have a simple costume. So it's not like there's too many intricate lines or designs like that. So I give the color score a near perfect 9 out of 10. Okay, so let me set this to the side because next category is packaging and packaging pretty much covers the design function and of course the look of the box or the packaging. And as you can see, it's a simple four color box, but it is nicely designed, it has a nice look to it. All the figures from the same series have the similar look design and color to it you have the nice super friends logo with the super friends the rainbow background like you would see in the intro of the cartoon everything is individualized so you'll see wonder woman in the front this is a picture you would see with all the other ones but nice to see how it's all also kind of display together and then more individualism with a Wonder Woman here uh, some of the uh, information based on the show when it aired and then you have her close-up solo picture here as well now you could see the numbering here on the bottom of the box with the UPC code And it is pretty thick cardboard, so it is quite sturdy. And as you can see, this box is pretty much in near mint condition. As I mentioned, you don't even see scuffing or anything like that. Once I bought it and inspected it, I just pretty much packed it, wrapped it up in bubble, bubble wrap and then packed it in. So overall look, colors, I like the design. Uh, really can't go wrong with it. And when I was thinking how I could improvement, I mean, there really isn't much room for improvement either. And that's why I give the packaging score a perfect 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to put this back here as part of my background. Next category is value. Pretty much covers the suggested retail price versus the quality or suggested retail price versus the aftermarket price. 
and this as you can see they actually had prices on the box so this when it first came out was originally 89.95 right now it's been almost 20 years basically about 17 years and right now this could go up as high as 250 for something brand new and i've seen it uh as low as maybe a little under like around hundred dollars so a little under like 150 or so so the average i'm seeing is about uh, 170 ish uh it depends whether if it's mis missing a box been displayed has a broken um something that's broken usually uh, i've seen one that was broke slightly broken and that was like under 100 so i don't know if anyone's buying that so definitely has some value and if you're uh, looking at the craftsmanship of this even though it's a simple design it is nicely done i do like a lot of the smooth surfaces you don't see certain areas where it looks like she has like Velveeta cheese going on or it's like uh, her skin was burned so you have some kind of burn scar looking effect so everything's nice and smooth and again it has pretty good value it's not like they made a lot of super friends wonder woman statue and figures so definitely low on supply which also makes the value uh aftermarket value higher or and potential to continue climbing up so i give the value score a very high near perfect nine out of ten so final categories overall pretty much accumulates the five prior categories design sculpting colors packaging and value and Again, it, it's a simple design, but looks great. Uh, you can display this in many different angles. Slightly to the side. Or even from the side. And if you have the other figures or other statues from the series, definitely adds more uh, potential on how you pose them or display them. You could, of course, do the same as here where you have Superman in the middle or you could rearrange them and even have Wonder Woman in the middle or you could have it like here where maybe you have a, a, some kind of like I don't know like a small book or something that you could put behind the first two statues and you could stand them up kind of like that as well so definitely a lot of possibilities on how you display it quality overall looks great the look overall looks great and again as mentioned there isn't much uh super friends statue or super friends uh action figures so if you're a fan of the old super friends cartoon uh definitely something i would recommend you would definitely be happy with something like this now just to be unbiased if you didn't have any Wonder Woman statues and if you were looking for that one special statue then uh, there would be a lot of other Wonder Woman statues that you could probably go with that might have a more of a modern look or even more of that action pose where you wouldn't get as sick of uh, because sometimes just the standing pose can get a little bit boring overall quality of the sculpt is great coloring is great and that's why i give the overall score a very high eight out of ten so to recap design 10 out of 10 sculpting 8 out of 10 colors 9 out of 10 packaging 10 out of 10 value 9 out of 10 and overall 8 out of 10 thank you for watching until next time continue reading the king james version bible and eat your vitamin c's daily